Hello everyone, I hope you were able to watch my first video, how to register for a 24 foundation event. Um, I hope that helped you out with the process and you feel a little more comfortable about it. Um, as I mentioned in that video, the next step after you have registered is to um, get onto your fundraising page, kind of mess around with it a little bit, personalize it, and um, make it your own. So in this video, I'm going to be kind of going over that process and making sure you fully understand uh, your ways around the fundraising platform. So as I mentioned in the last video, you're, as soon as you register and commit, um, click submit, you're going to be taken to a screen that's going to let you know that your registration has been completed. Um, it'll give you a little breakdown about the event, the organization itself, um, and then it'll let just, and it also includes the button that will um, allow you to get to your fundraising page. Um, you'll also get the two emails, um, one of which is the uh, it's a receipt email, so it will let you know again that your fund your registration went through. Um, it'll include the same kind of information that you got on the page right after registration, but that email will also include your receipt and the tax information for um, future reference. The second email is this one right here, um, lets you know that your registration is um, complete and your fundraising page is ready to go um, so all you would do is you would click on the visit my page button and it brings you to your fundraising page as you can see we registered for 24 Baltimore um, so obviously we're on the right fundraising page which is good um, before this is, like I said, this is um, a little overview of how the page looks, and we're going to go in more depth in the different parts of it. Starting with the search bar. Um, this is an option that you can use if you know any other people um, with fundraising pages or any of the other teams, and you want to kind of check them out and see what they're doing, uh, see the process they're going through, um, see if maybe they could, they're doing things um, to fundraise that you could possibly use, um, all you would do is you click in the box and type in their name or team name and just click enter and they should come up and you'll be able to go to their page. Um, and then the other part of the upper bar is you can hover over, if you hover over your profile picture you'll get these four options. Obviously this is just a log out of your page um, but my profile, my donations, and my settings Clicking on my profile takes you to the page with all of your fundraisers. This is where all of the events that you signed up for, this is where they're going to show up. This is the list of all of your pages that you can kind of maneuver between. So if I wanted to get to the Charlotte page, all I would have to do is click on manage or click on view, either one. It will take me to that page. Um, my donation history. This will show you the donations made to your um, page. Um, obviously, as you can see, I haven't had any donations yet um, for any of my pages, but this is where they would be if I had. And again, um, the people, donors, they will receive or should receive a receipt. Um, upon the donation, but if they didn't get it, if there's any problems and they contact you, all you got to do is go here and click resend receipt and they should get it. Lastly is my settings. Um, this is where you can uh, update the personal information to your profile. So obviously like name, email, birthday, all of that. Um, and then make sure you save those changes once you've updated it. And here's the option to edit a password. Um, for those who are originally logging on to their page um, from the email when you click on the visit my page button you're going to have to create a password um, I didn't have to create a password because I've already logged on to my page but when the first time you do you will have to create a password um, you can make it whatever you want but if you do want to change that password this is where you would come to um, Make sure you remember the original password you use and then you can change it to something that you might remember a little easier and then make sure you save that password once you have done that. Um, 
if you want to get back to the uh, 24 Baltimore page it can be a little tricky but all you've got to do is click on the my profile go down here to 24 Baltimore and click on manage and it will take you back to that page so as we go down a little bit further you'll see here is the profile picture for your page when you first log on this will be blank um, you have the option to upload this picture which I will show you how to do in a few minutes um, here's the obviously the title and the information about my page um, donate button this is on everybody's page um, you can visit any of theirs you click this button and it takes you through the donation process um, again a little information about the company and the uh, tax information you can select the amount that you want to donate um, enter your information and then the payment details and then click send your gift over here is a breakdown of kind of my fundraising goal which you can see is two hundred dollars um, and obviously I've raised zero and I have zero donations um, this graph will change as I get closer to reaching that goal this bar right here this is the central um, location that especially for editing your page you're gonna spend a lot of time but we will come back to it especially the um, edit your page tab but my story is your home page this is where all of your information that visitors of your page would see um, right here you have the option to upload videos or photos to kind of support your um, fundraiser kind of let visitors of your page know um, what you're doing the progress you're making um, some video testimonials <laughs> those can be cool to watch and a unique tool to use um, over here um, during registration as I mentioned in the last video uh, you have the option to register in three ways as an individual you can create a team or you can join a team um, for the purpose of the video we registered as an individual and let's say you did the same but then you decided that you wanted to create a team or you did want to join a team um, it's not too late you can go right here and do that all you would do is click on create or join team and then this window is going to come up if you're joining you just type the team's name in there and you click join team and then if you want to create a team you click that button and go through the create a team process over here below that box is a little just information um, about the event you have registered for and then the 24 foundation organization you can click on either of these and it'll take you to an additional page with more information um, further down the page is a um, list of fundraisers these are people involved in the same 24 Baltimore event um, this is what how they're doing so far some of the top um, fundraisers individually and then you can also look team wise um, for example if you clicked on team Livestrong, it will take you to their page you can see again they're registered for 24 Baltimore um, and then over here you see that their goal is to raise ten thousand dollars and so far they have raised twenty seven so a little bit of information and then you can kind of scroll down get more information about them and their purpose so back on your my story page um, right here in the middle this is a written testimonial so whereas you can use video testimonial here here's the option to just kind of write it out let people know why you're participating in this event um, what you're doing it for um, give them a little information a reason they should uh, donate to you um, as you move further down there's an option to post comments some people who visit your page may post a comment on your page here's an, a way to comment back to them and that's pretty much the just the overall layout of your page but as I mentioned this is right here this black bar is the most important um, part of the page and that's where we're gonna spend a lot of the time talking um, we've obviously we've toured the my story page also on the my story page is these four options over here 
Um, these are options to kind of promote your page, get the word out about it. Um, in my next video, we're going to talk more about these and especially how to use the email. But again, a quick run through. Um, you can like or share this page on Facebook. You can share it on Twitter or you can send email notifications out about it. Back over to this side um, with updates. You can send out updates and post them to your page to let um, donors know how you're doing um, with your progress. Obviously, like you like it says here, you can post picture, pic videos and pictures um, to your updates. Um, here's where you enter the title, and then you can kind of type in um, whatever you'd like your visitors and viewers of your page to know, and then just make sure you click post update when you have finished, and then it will be visible on the updates tab. Donations. This is where you can go to find um, your donations. Obviously again I haven't received any yet but if I had this is where I'd be able to see them. Um, some people would love would like to be able to get in contact with previous donors and on this page you will be able to do that as you'll be able to view this year and last year's donors and you can kind of reach out to them and see if they're willing to um, donate again so it's a cool tool to be able to use and then lastly and most importantly is the edit your page tab this is where a lot of your um, this is where you're able to really personalize your page and make it your own give it your own personality um, because I mean if people are going to donate to your page they really want to know who they're donating to and this is the way to um, give them that vibe. So again, here you can change your fundraiser name. If you don't want it to be your name, if you want it to be something else, that's where you go to do it. Um, your page title, kind of a little blurb about what you're doing, short, sweet, to the point. Um, your fundraising goal, I have it set at the um, 200 mark, but you can obviously you can increase that if you're looking to um, get some of the incentives out of the program. Um, the end date, this is when my fundraiser is going to end. And then your page, um, URL, you have the option to kind of customize this as well. Um, again, just to kind of add your own little personality to your page. Um, as I mentioned previously, this is where you can come to um, upload the profile picture. You would just click upload and you would pull it from your computer files. Um, right here, this is the uh, testimonial that we saw on the first page. Um, you can come in and you can kind of, again, customize this, make it your own, make it um, unique to you. This is the standard um, message that comes on all everyone's page when they originally open it. But you are more than welcome to come in, just click in the body and change it to whatever you would like it to say that really fits um, you and then this is the thank you that gets sent to donors um, just again you have the option to update this and kind of change it to a more personalized thank you um, once all this is up to date once you change it all and you're ready to go just make sure you click update your page to save all the changes and there you go So, um, uh, that pretty much concludes uh, my video on how to edit your page. Um, I hope that clears up any questions that you might have about how to use it and how to personalize it. But if you still have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, you can use our email, contact us at 24foundation.org. Um, again, once you have registered for an event and you've opened this fundraising page and you've kind of edited it, edited it, the next step in the process is to kind of get the word out, and that's where these four buttons come in. Um, so in my next video, I'm going to go over these. Um, but and more specifically the email so be on the lookout for my how to send fundraising emails video 
Um, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching this video and for supporting 24 Foundation.